I study impoliteness. And invariably, when you tell that to someone, they will either keep talking to you, telling you something about someone they know who's incredibly offensive, or they'll stop talking to you and be scared of me analysing them. Now, it's not just anecdotal. Offence is a real-world issue. It affects people's relationships. People get fired because of offensive behaviour at work, bullying, harassment. And the media makes people retract statements that they've made because they're perceivable as offensive. We all have an understanding about what impoliteness is. Now, I try to not only define but also describe impoliteness. What I do is, I'm a linguist, and I'm an interactional pragmatist, so I look at not just someone who's doing something offensive or saying something that's impolite, but also the reaction that somebody has to what somebody says. And I'm interested in that reaction to what someone says and the reaction that they have in reaction, and so on and so forth, because this interaction creates co-constructed meaning. And I use this co-constructed meaning model with an interactional text analysis called CA, conversation analysis. And combining them together, I tease out interactions between people looking specifically for sites where they show they perceive each other as being impolite. So I've gathered interactional data of people who know each other extremely well and of people who have never met each other before. And in my analysis, it seems to show something interesting we have an ability to control this perception of impoliteness. It's got to do with our agency, this innate ability we all have to act or not act, knowing that we, have, that we will be held accountable for that action or inaction. And I think this accountability is key. In the interaction between people who know each other very well, for one of them, they tend to take the piss. They offend each other or insult each other in order to get insults back. But although they're perceiving the insults, they don't hold each other accountable for it. They, it's like normal day-to-day -day interactions. But in the data set of people who have never met each other before, there's something interesting. There is this one example of someone who laughs at someone else because they're studying politics. But they're not held accountable for studying uh, for this rudeness. Society's held accountable. They're just seen as some sort of conduit who um, reduplicates society's perception of politics. So whether it's bullying or harassment or trolling or flaming, my study helps to understand what it means to be offended. Thank you.